But I'd like to close by asking a few questions of my colleagues who are still considering a vote in her favor. If Mrs. DeVos's performance didn't convince you that she lacks the qualifications for this job, what would have to have happened in that hearing in order to convince you? If you cannot bring yourself to vote against this nominee, is there anyone President Trump could nominate for any position that you could vote against? And if we cannot set party loyalty aside long enough to perform the essential duty of vetting the president's nominees, what are we even doing here? Mr. President, the Constitution gives us that power to reject cabinet nominations specifically so that we can prevent fundamentally ill-equipped nominees like Betsy DeVos from assuming positions of power for which they are not qualified. Let's do our job for the sake of our children. Let's do our job. I yield the floor.